we are going to do experiment with AC signals and oscilloscope. We are going to use the function generator for the AC signal output. See, I have connected in the output line and I am going to set 18 kHz frequency through this and I am going to adjust the RMS voltage through this output amplitude. Look at the connection. I have connected the function generator terminals across the DMM so that I can measure the frequency. I have set it at 18 kHz frequency. Now, I have also set the voltage RMS at 3.5 volts and your multimeter should read 3.5. I am going to connect the oscilloscope terminals across the ends of the function generator and the DMM connection like this and going to look at the waveform on the oscilloscope. Look at the waveform on the oscilloscope. I have set 17.95 kilohertz. That is 18 kilohertz is re, uh, it's reading as 17.95, and then the peak to peak is showing 10.3 volts. The channel one is at uh, two volts. All these appear automatically when I click on the auto set button. Okay, when I click on the auto set button, the waveform is going to appear on the oscilloscope and all the readings you are going to see on the screen. Now I am going to read the horizontal uh, scale. Uh, it is set at 25 microseconds. For one full wave to complete, it takes 1, 2, 2.2 divisions. The peak voltage is 10.3 over 2, 5.15 volts. And the period is 2.2 divisions on the x-axis to complete one full wave. And then the horizontal scale is 25 microseconds. When I multiply, I get 55 microseconds. Yeah. 1 over T is giving me 18.18 kilohertz. Now I'm going to set a 60 hertz signal. I have clicked on the 100 hertz for the range. And through this, I adjusted the frequency to 60 hertz. Now, I'm going to click on this to see how much is my RMS voltage. It's same 3.5 as we said before. Again, click on the auto set to see the waveform on the screen. It is for the 60 hertz signal. See the peak to peak, it is the same, almost 9.84 volts. And then the frequency is 60 hertz. And the RMS voltage that we set is 3.5. It is showing 3.56. I'm going to change the waveform to triangular waveform and frequency is the same 60 Hz, B RMS is 3.5 volts. Triangular waveform, look at the RMS voltage 2.67, it has changed itself, I'm going to note it. Oscilloscope shows the triangular waveform with the peak to peak as 10.3 and then no change in the horizontal scale 10 milliseconds and no change in the vertical scale 2 volts per division. I'm going to change the waveform mode to square wave. Look at the RMS voltage. It is changing on the DMM as 4.8 something. I'm going to note it. Look at the details from the oscilloscope. No change in the vertical scale, horizontal scale. Peak to peak was measuring 10 volts and then the period also was same as the triangular waveform. Only the RMS voltage has changed. Here is the reason why the sine waveform, triangular waveform and square waveform show different RMS voltages. Look at the sine waveform. The area under the curve, uh, it counts to 3.5 volts RMS. The triangular waveform occupies lesser space and the area under the curve is less. So it showed some 2.7 volts AC RMS and then the square wave occupies more area and so it, it measured around 5 volts RMS. I'm going to hook up this circuit now. Uh, Cathode oscilloscope has a limitation that it can measure the voltages across the grounded components only. The power supply has a ground. So I'm going to connect channel 1 across the power supply. And channel 2 is going to go across resistance R2 because the other end of R2 is connected to ground. Voltage across R1 
is going to be the value that you get across supply minus the voltage across R2. Um, I have connected the channel 1 of the oscilloscope across the ends of the circuit like this. Channel 1 shows this waveform with the peak to peak measuring 10.6 volts and see the RMS value that we set 3.5 volts and the frequency is 60 hertz. I am going to measure the voltage across the circuit uh, using a DMM like this positive end here, negative end here. It reads 3.5 volts and I am going to note it in my table. Now I have connected the oscilloscope terminals across R2. I am going to measure the voltage from the oscilloscope. Yeah, I connected again um, in channel 1. It is reading a peak to peak of 7.16 volts and the RMS voltage is showing as 2.42 volts. I will note it in the table now. Voltage across R2 is 7.16 volts and then the RMS is 2.142 volts. Now I just subtracted these two and I have the voltage across R1 and these two I subtracted and I have the peak to peak voltage across R1 as 3.44 volts. Channel 1 and channel 2 both of them when I connected it it showed 1 volt per division as the vertical scale and horizontal scale remained the same 10 milliseconds per division. We are done with this experiment. Thanks for watching.